Hey everybody, this is Punt Frugal Streamer. I wanted to go through a video real quick for you. And this is one that a question was asked on Twitter about how to have the same audio source but have different volumes for each scene that you switch to. Uh, OBS Studio currently doesn't allow that. If you have, uh, say, a music source that you have made using input uh, audio input capture, um, you can't separate or change the volumes without affecting all of your scenes at the same time. So. I found out a way that you can do this as a workaround, and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so here we go. This is the setup. All right, so every scene you see, I have this music audio source in here, and you can see it playing. Um, and no matter what source I go to, or a scene I go to, you can see that it's all there. It's the same level. And uh, what we want to do is we want to make it so that we can have these at different audio levels all right so without having to go and actually do it manually you know here on the mixer because if i bring this down here if i go back to intermission you will see that it's also changed here and we don't want to do that all right so let's go ahead and we will now get rid of this let's go ahead and get rid of these uh musics and all these other ones we'll leave it in the start scene because i do actually want it um there so let's uh find it here and we'll also get rid of it here okay and then let's see what else we have um i think that's it okay right, so the music's here so we got the starting and the ending that's what i want for the same so let's make intermission what we're going to do is we're going to use the same virtual you need a virtual audio cable for this so i will provide a link down in the description below that will show you where you can download and and i have a video on how to install virtual cable if you didn't already have it. If you do have it already, then it should be simple. So all you need to do is we'll go and we'll make an audio input capture. And instead of going and selecting music, we will, let's call this, uh, we'll call this intermission game music. All right, we'll add the source. And then we'll just select the cable again. The great thing about this cable is you can select it a, a hundred times. I see the music there is loud. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down. Uh, matter of fact, let's get it about right there. All right, so we'll get kind of low. So it's just playing in the background. All right, so now I should be able to go to my game scene. And first of all, let's show this. I'm going to go back to starting scene and you'll see that these are different levels. All right, so we got two separate audio sources there that we can uh, have music and you don't have to switch the volume. So then it's just a matter of going to your different scenes and adding that audio input capture that you've already made. And let's, we'll select the intermission and game music, add the source, and you've got your different levels for your music, and you're good to go. And you don't ever have to worry about changing the volumes again. You can just leave it as it is and just start your music up and you're set. All right, it's that simple. That's the video. That's it. It's very easy to do. Just one virtual audio cable that you already you know, set up for your music. Again, like I said, I'll provide the link in the description below on how to install a virtual cable. And I'll also provide a link to a video that shows you how you can assign your virtual cable to an output of a program like Spotify um, within Windows 10. All right, so I'll show you how to do that. And uh, it's really easy to set up. I just... And it's a great way to have your volume set differently in your different scenes without having to go and manually turn them up or down. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. I uh, hope to see you come back. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and help me out. Uh, we are giving away a stream deck this month. Um, we will be finishing that up toward Thanksgiving. And then I will do the drawing for one lucky subscriber. So I do appreciate all that. I'll also provide the link for that giveaway down in the description too. And once again, thank you, Patreons. I do appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to support me through Patreon, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash the frugal streamer. And there you can support by giving as little as $1.50. And I did, you know, and I have different tier levels set up, uh, but any support is greatly appreciated. And hey, get your name in, this, in videos like this. 
and I do appreciate it again. I just appreciate it. Thank you for everybody that's supporting. I'm gonna make sure you come back. I'd love to see you come back. I enjoy the comments and all that good stuff. So anyway, thank you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you later.